Hey guys, good morning. This is uh, Kiyoshi Tim Rosanelli here with you for our morning uh, back to school. Okay, this is our back to school tips for parents. This is our little mat chat for today. And uh, before we get started in that, just giving everybody at our school a little update on what's going on. You've probably seen a lot of uh, work being done here at the building. And we just found out that very shortly, they're going to open up the other section of the building. Um, it's pretty amazing when, you, when you've seen the transformation. You've probably have seen a huge transformation in the way the building looks. And um, I barely, I mean, when you come up to the building, it really has changed a lot. Um, so let's get into our tips this week. Okay. Our tip number three is make sure your child feels comfortable communicating with you. Um, communication is critical when it comes to all the challenges your child will face each day in school and it is important for your child to feel comfortable speaking with you about bullies, fears, and anxieties. You can turn any challenge around if you just set it up right. So here's the important tips to helping your child feel more co comfortable communicating with you. First off is Never ignore your child's anxiety or stresses. Um, this is a crucial mistake that many par parents make. Most of the time, it's by accident. You know, we are just busy um, doing our own thing, get tangled up in our responsibilities. And sometimes when our child brings something up to us, we just kind of brush it aside and, um, and make, it make it seem like it's not that important. So when you remember this, everything your child says to you is important to them. So make sure that, you know, when they say it, don't just ignore them. Try to uh, step back and talk to them about the situation. The second tip is to ask them about their day to keep an open dialogue. Sometimes children hold back sharing their fears and anxieties simply because they don't want to bother you. Okay, this goes back to tip number one. By asking them about their day um, and how it was, and if there's anything they want to talk about, you are showing them that you care. So make sure you constantly are communicating to your kid. Um, this, I used to do this a lot with my kids, and I would just ask them, you know, how their day is going. And sometimes you get those one-word answers, you know, like, um, you know, fine or whatever. And then you just say to them, okay, great. I don't, we don't, you know, you have nothing to talk to me about, but if there's anything you do want to talk to me about, let me know. And uh, sometimes that works great because sometimes they do have something on their mind. They originally say like that everything's great. And then maybe they'll come back to you at a later point and talk to you about it. And here's point number three, try to put their anxieties and stress into perspective um, into a perspective that they will understand. For example, everyone is bullied at some point in their life. So that will make them feel like um, that they're not the only one. Every kid is going through this. If your child stresses about bullying, share your bullying experience and let them know that you understand how they feel and provide some simple solutions on how they can handle it. So that's just another way of, and you can use this for all kinds of situations, not even just bullying, but you know, um, how to get better grades, you know, how to um, work, work more effect effectively in school and, and all your life experiences. I think you, it's great to also tell kids stories about yourself. Your kids love hearing stories about you. And when you give them a story, even if it's a, a, a bad experience and how you solve that experience, they are going to feel a lot more connected to that story than you just telling them what to do. All right, guys. Well, that was our back to school tip for this week. Um, next week's Matt Chat is going to be part number four of this series. And we'll look forward to seeing you then.